Hello folks. Tactics without strategy is noise before defeat, says Sun Tzu, an ancient Chinese general and war strategist. As much as your readiness to work hard to ace the CLAT and grab a seat at the best possible national law university, note that the D-Day is now tentatively fixed at the 8th of May 2022. In this video, we delve into what can possibly be the best preparation strategy in the backdrop of the latest CLAT 2022 pattern. So stay tuned and watch the whole video. As you know, the date of CLAT 2022 has been fixed on May 8th, 2022 with CLAT 2023 following in the very same year in the month of December, which makes 2022 different for CLAT aspirants. Please watch our video on how to register for CLAT 2022 to make sure you're well prepared for the application process. Why is formulating a strategy important? Well, you could be the smartest person in the room with the best legal aptitude, but the exam, as for the ones who've already been there and done it, depends a lot on how well you have understood what is required for the exam and how well you have honed your skills to efficiently tackle the same. Moreover, CLAT is a time-bound test with roughly just one minute available for each question. Hence, your success will depend on the effectiveness of your strategy. Basically, how you choose and prioritize the questions that suit your strengths and how skillfully you manage the time. So let's jump right in and go step by step in understanding the pattern and the preparation strategy. The first step is to understand the pattern and what the examiners would seek in the right candidate. We believe that an ability to strategize and plan would come in handy in your career as a lawyer too. CLAT is a two hour test with 150 multiple choice questions carrying one mark each. But before you decide to go crazy answering all questions, please note that you have a negative marking of 0.25 for each wrong answer. This is often trivialized. However, you must know that when you make a wrong answer, you're in fact losing 1.25 marks, while leaving it blank would have only cost you one mark. So choose wisely. CLAT UG 2022, as per the consortium, would be focused on comprehension and reasoning ability of the candidates. Remember, this is an aptitude test and not a test of knowledge, at least for the most part. The exam is divided into five sections, which are English language, current affairs, including general knowledge, legal reasoning, logical reasoning, and quantitative techniques. Now let's delve into each of the individual sections. English language. Comprehending long and convoluted passages pertaining to topics in law is one of the essential skills for a lawyer. It would mean protracted sentences broken down with mere commas. That is exactly what you could expect in this section. You would be given passages of about 450 words each and questions would be asked from the passage. 30 questions are expected from the English language section. Key skills you can develop to make this section a key walk are as follows. Vocabulary. There would always be unfamiliar words and you would be quizzed on their meanings. But do not panic. Start reading newspapers or books which would improve your word power. Also, Word Power Made Easy by Norman Louis is a highly, highly recommended book which would enable you to comprehend the meanings of unfamiliar words from their root words. Comprehension Comprehension would definitely extract some time from your overall slab and hence managing time is crucial. The better you are at comprehension, the faster you can attempt the questions with ease and without pressure. Read books or newspaper contents and try comprehension passages available on the internet. This would also help you understand the meanings of words from context. Grammar if your knowledge in grammar is better than just thinking which option sounds better, you can be confident of the answers you mark in this subsection. Grammar is like GK. Either you know it or you don't. It leaves no scope for speculation. We recommend trying Wren and Martin, which is a classic English grammar book. Speed reading. 
Speed reading, an ability to identify keywords or important sentences would enable you to go back to the passage and quickly identify answers to questions if you haven't found them yet. You could time yourself and track every word or the number of words you've covered per minute so that you can track your progress on a regular basis. Current affairs including general knowledge. This section has undergone drastic changes over the years with the pattern changing from purely objective questions to passages of 450 words each. This could be from diverse sources like news, journalistic pieces and other non-fiction writing and may also include legal information or knowledge based passages. Some strategies for facing this section are as follows. Do not expect to save time in this section now since the pattern has changed from objective type. This used to be the time management sink for previous CLAT strategies. The only way to decrease your time consumption here while answering accurately is to increase your luck of having already read the said news or non-fiction writing. Amp up your reading and dig deep into newspapers and keep yourself updated on the most important or sensational legal news and chances are you might receive quite a few familiar passages. However, don't panic a lot thinking how vast the pool of current affairs is. The consortium has given few genres of content which could be read in more depth, namely contemporary events of significance from India and the world, arts and culture, international affairs and historical events of continuing significance. Furthermore, do not fret about the legal knowledge part either. You would not require knowledge beyond what is given in the passage. However, prior knowledge could help you answer the questions faster. Legal reasoning. Here, while some basic knowledge on contemporary laws and how they work can help, this section tests your reasoning ability specific to comprehending and applying laws over your previous legal knowledge. This too shall consist of passages which are about 450 words long, around 38 questions can be expected, and therefore, effective strategy would entail skill development in the following ways. Practice. Legal reasoning is something which requires some aptitude and orientation with respect to interpretation of laws and rules. So even if you have basic aptitude, practice questions would give you a better taste, help you to get into the groove and teach you how to comprehend these passages which at times seem too long. Legal news. Keeping yourself updated on the latest legal happenings the important judgments, etc. would help. Newspapers, blogs, podcasts and our very own Indic Law app could assist you to stay updated by making it a fun exercise. Some basic concepts of contract law, constitutional law and such important laws can also increase your chances of getting passages from topics and principles you must have already read about. Logical reasoning. Logical reasoning is the test of how good you are in the common skill of identifying patterns, drawing conclusions based on premises, applying premises to identify the most rational outcome, draw relationships and analogies, etc. CLAT will have questions based on premise passages which could be around 300 words long with around 30 questions being asked. You might already have basic skills in this. However, getting familiar with the kind of questions would assist you to face a time-constrained exam better. Here are a few strategy pointers for this section. Familiarize and practice. There are multiple kinds of reasoning questions, namely series, syllogisms, patterns, and drawing conclusions from premises. There are lots of reasoning samples available online and getting familiar with as many kinds of questions could make sure you won't be taken by surprise and might even get lucky with a few coincidences. Develop a reading habit. Many questions were derived from passages already featured on popular news dailies and so on. This could help in other sections as well. At the end of the day, make sure you love the process. If you do not love the journey, chances are you would not reach your desired destination. Quantitative Techniques 
Quantitative aptitude for CLAT is based on mathematics till 10th grade level. Hence, you might be tempted to underestimate the same. Please, please do not make that mistake. It's tough enough. It would put you on a time pressure. And in some cases, it's not quite our forte. This section is very crucial and requires strategy to effectively tackle without being pressured. As for the consortium, this section might include short sets of facts or propositions, graphs or other textual, pictorial or diagrammatic representations of numerical information, followed by a series of questions. Here are some strategy pointers for this section. Revise 10th grade math. The better way to revise 10th grade math is to look for books which have an orientation for such competitive exams such as Quantitative Aptitude by R.S. Agarwal which covers all the necessary topics while giving you a good deal of practice questions with solutions as well. Learn math tricks. Quick math tricks such as Japanese multiplication technique, easy squaring techniques and much more. These days you even get reels on the same. <laughs> A good excuse to tell your mom when she walks in with a chuckle when you're smiling at Instagram. But please don't get carried away into a reels rabbit hole and keep everything in moderation. Remember, we have a goal to achieve. This might seem like a lot to prepare and cover and might seem frustrating when you look at it for the first time. But worry no more because the right guidance you require to prepare for your D-Day in whichever way you love is just a click away. We've been where you are right now and have faced glad. And we know what can make your journey easy and fun. So what are you waiting for? Log on to www.indiclaw.com slash CLAT to book a free legal career consultation and explore the self-paced and guided courses for CLAT preparation. All the best. We honestly wish that you make it to the law school of your dreams.